the Thursday Night Football go today? Uh, went good for the defense. We worked on skill building with the offense, which I think will definitely pay uh, dividends in the future. It certainly has in the past. Is there anyone on either side of the ball? That, I, mean, I know it's only been two that you guys have done so far. Is, is anyone standing out right now? Uh, it kind of varies. You know, the consistency is, uh, I think, the biggest thing. Um, you know, I think defensively in general, at least today, I thought we ran to the ball pretty good to the extent that we gave him an opportunity to run to the ball. But, um, yeah, so I, it's just part of the process. Uh, you know, we'll do it again next week if, uh, if we don't get it sorted this week. Uh, usually there's a couple weeks in bet between, but uh, we're certainly prepared to do it again. Were you surprised that, that Gordo out of high school didn't get more uh, more, more offers? I, I know he was, he was a little bit uh, more, more scrawny, and kind of kind of kind of short, and maybe wasn't the prototypical quarterback, but just the way he, he can throw the ball. Are you surprised he didn't get more offers and had to go the JC route? Uh, a little bit. Uh, they felt like he was undersized was the biggest thing. Uh, he was productive. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with a ton of his high school film. I am his uh, junior college. What was the first thing that popped when you when you turned on his JC film? He throws it quick, you know. He, he's kind of a take charge guy. Throws it quick, moves his feet well. Do, do, do you think he's more confident than, than you make him off? He, he's kind of quiet and, and kind of has the, the California lax vibe. I know he comes from kind of a, a, a surfing town a little bit, but do you, do you think people don't know how competitive he actually is out there? And he actually does talk quite a bit on the field. Uh, he's always been confident. He's always been confident. He's more vocal now, but he's always been confident. Speaking of surfing, I, I talked to Yogi Roth the other day. He said you guys are planning a, a tentative surfing trip or have been talking about it for, for a couple of years. Yeah. Like, when did you learn how to surf? Well, y Yogi does it all the time. Uh, I used to, when I'd go recruiting when I was an assistant, I'd go with Mark McElroy, who's the head coach at Saddleback Community College, and teach his two surfing classes. So he always had all the gear so I could fly in and I could surf a little bit. And then plus I had adult supervision, somebody watching me, you know, because uh, if, you, if you don't do it much, just lining up, I mean, and, and spotting things, you, you develop kind of an eye for it. And uh, so the first day uh, I'd go out and I'd get uh, beat up. The second day I'd get sore, but my timing would be better. The third day I'd do pretty well, and the fourth day I'd go home. So that's about how that thing went, and it was a cycle for a couple of years. Matter of fact, I ought to call uh, uh, Mark and Yogi again. What's the most challenging part about serving the people may not uh, know until they, they actually do it? Mm, how strenuous it is. I mean, it looks comfortable. The, the visual's comfortable. Somebody laying on a board. Um, you know, it's not particularly cr uh, comfortable. Uh, you know, your pelvic bone is, uh, you know, you'll feel that for a week. And then uh, 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 I think the other thing is, is that um, uh, you know, it's, it's really fairly str uh, strenuous paddling out there because you're not in as good a position as it appears, you know, because your back's constantly arched, that type of thing. And then the other thing, there's a sense of timing and, 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 and guys get really good at it. Um, they can see a speck out there and they know that that's the wave to line up to. And so then they can start ahead of time. There, there's guys out there that can uh, surf and, and they don't even get particularly wet. Um, you know, because they just they time it up and then they uh, they catch it and then they take it into a point and then bail off and paddle back out and do the same thing. And then, like especially on a cold day, you'll you'll see some really good ones out there and they don't have their wetsuit on, but they're just uh, <coughs> you know uh, good enough to get up, reel it in, and uh, do it again without uh, really going underwater. Where's the best place to surf, or your, your favorite place that you've been surfing, I guess? Uh, for me, it is a place where I can work on my skills <coughs> um, that has kind of consistent waves. Um, like, uh, well, Hawaii's good, except the landing's tough because they have consistent waves in uh, Hawaii, like in a bay or something, like um, mm, Haleiwa or out there in Lahaina, you know, in the bay. <clears throat> the landing's tough because the coral comes up like daggers, so you got to kind of belly flop off of there and hope you don't sink too far. Uh, in California, somewhere like uh, Doheny, that's uh, got kind of consistent three-footers um, that you can kind of count on, um, that if I make a mistake on one, I can correct it on the next. Uh, 
Uh, San Onofre's not bad. Um, kind of depends, though. One of the uh, uh, assistant coaches at New Mexico State is Chase Holbrook, who was really <laughs> for you for your ability. He was offensive quality control. Can you talk about how, how he landed here and how you found out about Chase and, and his, his his time here, what he, what he did for you guys? Well, Chase was Hal Mummy's quarterback, and then he uh, uh, did a really good job. And, of course, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, ran the air raid there. So he's a knowledgeable guy. He's a smart guy and uh, kind of used to being in charge. But I, th I thought he was a really good set of eyes and a uh, good young coach who I think is uh, really you know, going to have a, a good career before it's all over. Are you surprised that he was able to kind of get a, a position coach this quickly? Or did, did you see this was about the, the, kind of the, the right timeline for him to, to snap up a QB coach job? Well, you know, the, the thing is, is he's kind of a legacy there at New Mexico State. I believe he's the all-time leading passer there. So. Um, that certainly didn't hurt, but you know it, it was good to see him able to elevate uh, this early in his career. And he's had his alma mater too. He, he and his wives. Okay, good with coach.